What's up, everyone? Thank you again for tuning in. So I finally attempted the PNPT exam and unfortunately I did not pass. So today we're going to get into it. I'm going to talk about the PNPT certification and what it entails, give you an idea of what to expect and a breakdown of what happened during my attempt, my fail attempt at the PNPT. There's a lot to learn and I am still learning and I am not giving up, I have another attempt. And at the moment, I am still working on getting ready for my second attempt. So this, I hope it will be helpful for you. And I'm gonna talk about it and give you some tips or basically tell you some of the things you should not do so that you have a better chance at passing the PNPT exam. Okay, let's start by talking about what the PNPT certification is. So this certification is offered by TCM Security, which is owned and operated by Heath Adams. He is the CEO and he is one of the trainers in this course. So the PNPT stands for Practical Network Penetration Tester. And if we go down here, it defines what the certification is. The Practical Network Penetration Tester, PNPT certification, is an intermediate level penetration testing exam. This exam will assess the student's ability to perform a network penetration test at a professional level. Students will have five full days to complete the assessment and an additional two days to write a professional report. Now, from my experience with this exam, it is definitely a practical experience and it is real life more than anything I've ever seen. I have gone through a lot of CTFs in Tri Hat Me and some Hat the Box and this is nothing like that. The mindset that you have to have to tackle this exam is different. You have to treat it as you are actually doing a pen testing engagement. So as it relates to getting hands-on experience, I would give this an A plus for that. You know, coming from a, an intermediate or a beginner level, you're not gonna get anything closer than this. I don't think so that there's anything else that exists in terms of certification that gives you this real life experience now the course or the voucher it comes with the training and it's about 499 500 bucks and it's pretty reasonable you know the quality of the course as i said earlier in other videos that for the quality that they put out it's more than worth it now i took some time before i decided to do this exam because i believed that you know this was something that's not was not gonna be easy so I tried not to take it for granted however there are certain things that resulted in my failing and we're gonna go through that now if you go to the site you'll see all of the offerings for this as I said earlier the when you pay for the exam you get the course content with it but let's go through some of the tips that they have here and what's expected. Now, all that they're showing here is under the banner how to pass the exam, but this is basically the setup of the exam. Uh, it's asking you, it says, in order to receive the certification, you have to perform open source intelligence, gather intel on how to properly attack the network. Now, this part here is very important and I think this is where I fell down mostly you know you have to perform as much OSINT as possible meaning you have to gather all the information document as much as you can and the more things you document the more options you will see and you have to be patient you can't rush through and then the next step is to leverage their Active Directory and exploit by avoiding the antivirus or whatever software that they have on the network 
that's preventing you from successfully attacking the network. Then you also have to, once you've done this, you know, one of the main goals of this exploitation is you have to exploit to the point where you have complete control of the domain. Meaning that, as you can see in the second point here, you compromise the exam domain controller. So you have to gain access to the network, then you have to do both lateral and virtual movements in the network to the point where you control the domain controller. Then you have to provide a detailed and written report. And this is also very important because as a pen tester, most of your work is going to entail communicating through your reports. And this is going to lead to different people from different levels of the organization. Then you have to do a 15 minute debrief. That's if you get that far. Now, what I like most about this exam is, as promised, the exam is very real life and there's no multiple choice and there are no flags to capture. And if you look down here, when you visit the site, it will tell you here that there are absolutely zero flags to capture, no multiple choice questions. And it can look the lovely price as $500 is right there. <laughs> but um, as I said, you know, this is very good and I really want to pass this exam because I want to move on to other certifications, but I think it's important for me to first validate that I can actually do the thing in real life because the other certifications are mainly gatekeeper certification. I won't be calling any names, but I think that as a validation, you need to have something as close to reality as possible. And I think PNPT has done a good job where this is concerned. There are other critiques that I have of the certifications, but we'll get into that. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is what happened during my attempt to pass this exam. One of the things that contributed to me not passing this exam is that I took the risk of doing this while doing work. Because I work on overnights and so I was doing this exam both at work and also while I was at home. Now this is not to find an excuse but the reason I brought this up is that being someone that works on overnight you are not particularly in the best mindset because you need to rest and I don't think I rested enough. And that's my fault and this is one thing that I hope that you take away from it as well I think you should make sure that whatever you're doing if you're gonna do it while you're at work you have to make sure that you get the right amount of rest so that you can think clearly uh, the main thing that happened when I was doing this exam is that I got stuck on this one way to get into the network and I kept trying, kept hammering at the same thing and it did not work. And this is something that you should try to avoid. Try to look at your plans that you would have prepared before starting the exam. And I did not have as many options. I didn't think of so many things before coming into the exam. But of course, I have to grant that I did not know what the environment looks like prior to doing the exam so then you know that's that goes against you but at the same time if I had different plans based on what I learned if you watch the videos and you create a step-by-step -step approach you know there's even videos in the, in the training that shows you different approaches so if you pay attention and watch all of those I think you can construct a plan which will put you in a better position to pass the exam now there's nothing that I can tell you about the environment because that would be violating the rules of engagement and also the non-disclosure agreement that you sign to when you're taking this exam but all in all it's a good exam and I just want to finish off by saying you know don't give up and 
because you fail it doesn't mean that you're not good enough for it i am certainly not of the belief that i'm not good enough for it and i'm going to try again and i will not stop trying until i pass this exam when you start the exam you will be given a link to download the vpn that will help you to connect to the environment and you will also get the rules of engagement just like you're in an actual pen testing engagement now this you have to read this carefully and go through all of the requirements all of the scope you know what's in scope and everything that's on a typical engagement i mean like everything that's um, in your training that they'll tell you that's on a typical pen testing engagement is there so you have to pay attention and read all of that they provide all the information that you need and the good thing is it's not proctored and you're able to go back over your notes go into the videos watch them so this is a great advantage I don't think that it's a bad thing because if you fully understand the concepts and the methodology then it's just like a pen test where everything would be available for you to use and proctoring in an exam situation just puts unnecessary pressure on you that would not reflect what is in reality I don't really have a lot of critiques about this you know I really respect the certification however there was one mishap when I did the exam so you need to submit a report even if you do not complete all of the tasks to show your progress in order to get a hint for the second attempt when I completed my report and submitted it I did not get a hint because from the support team they did not see that report that I submitted and this taught me a lesson of always documenting stuff because i did not take a screenshot to show the response because when i submitted it it gave a response that this better not be malware and so i could not prove that i did submit the report now this is a very important lesson and going forward on my second attempt if if i do not make it through all of the tasks I'll make sure that I document by taking my screenshots to show that I did submit the report to make sure that I have a hint. Because going in without a hint the second time, I think I'm at a disadvantage. However, the fact that I have already been exposed to the environment, that in itself is uh, something that put me at an advantage. So it's not all is not lost and i still appreciate this certification and i am going to try my best to pass it on my second attempt so guys i hope that this review has helped you you know on your in your preparation for the exam i hope that you've learned something from what i have said and if this is your first time watching just hit that subscribe bell and stay tuned for more videos Hit the like button as well and it helps with the channel i am building stuff i know i haven't been putting out a lot lately however i will still be putting out content thank you again for watching and i'll see you in the next one